Good afternoon and welcome once again to the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries at the Hanover Fair 2016. Joining me on stage shortly, uh, we'll have Tsaba Tsuri, the Business Development Manager uh, from Mahitech. The topic will be hydrogen storage solutions, compressed and metal hydride tanks. If you're standing on the periphery, please do come in, have a drink on the house. If you have any questions at any time, please raise your hand and I'll be happy to come around with the microphone. <laughs> please uh, help me welcome my guest, Tsabasuri. Hello. <laughs> Hello, please. Thank you. So, welcome on stage. I, yeah. I see you brought some things with you. Yeah. Yeah. First, uh, the, the name, did I get that right? Mahitech? Mahitech? Uh, you can pronounce like that. It's in French, pronounce Mahitech. But it can be anything you like, yeah. Yeah, and, and where did that name come from? Uh, it's um, Material Hydrogen Technology. Ah. Mahitech. Mahitech, yeah. excellent. Um, how long has the company been running for? Uh, it has been running for ages, like eight years already, and we are still alive. So Congratulations. We, we, do, we do a good job, I think. Is this your first time at the fair? Uh, for me, yes, but the company was here for every year, six, seven, eight, yeah, many years. Say many things change. Excellent. Uh, what, how was the, the company founded? It started from a technology at a university. Yeah, yeah. The university professors was doing, were doing uh, composite research. And one day they had this idea, hey, let's do composite for hydrogen storage. So they started winding filament around the bottle and they ended up with these tanks, you know. Okay, so yeah, you've got a big poster next to you. Can you yeah. explain what this is? This is, this is our biggest tank. Uh, the interesting thing about this one is that uh, 500 bars, uh, I don't know if you realize what is 500 bar in this tank. Uh, it means that the tank, uh, you know, it has this thick composite uh, wall. And if you imagine that this is a big crane, you can suspend all the parking lots in this tank, 300 cars, the force is in the composite. Uh, not 300, 3,000, sorry. So you can, you yeah. can crush Nobody's the impressed. cars in the parking lot? What do you want to do to the cars in the no, parking lot? No, you suspend. Oh, suspend. So if you want to suspend oh. 3,000 cars, yeah. the force you need yeah. is the same force that you have 500 bars in the tank. Inside the tank. Yeah. OK, oh. and it's uh, three, 300 liters. Yes. Of hydrogen. So in reality, it's even higher, three meters high. Okay. Wow. So it's it's bigger than this. Yeah. Okay. It's a really big one. And so compressed, but you this is and this is your biggest product, your your largest yeah, product. Yeah. Yeah. But you you do all kinds of solutions on the the storage. Yes. Option. Yes. Yeah. In composite tanks, we have this one, 500 bars. We have a 30 bar, which is only two meters. Uh, much slower, smaller, we have 700 bars for cars, and then we have for small volumes uh, metal hydride solutions. So the smallest is. Uh, <laughs> you fit in your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> it's here. Okay, it has. Um, it has a particularity. Uh, it has two grams of hydrogen, which is at uh, this atmosphere would be 22 liters. Okay. So, like this, maybe? Okay. Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, one atmosphere, one bar, 22 liters, and it's met metal hydride. So you put all this into this one, and you get only two bars, like magic. Okay, so black box magic hydrogen. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Can I ask you how it works? How, oh. how do you get the hydrogen in? So, how magic works? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it's, uh, I don't know, really. <laughs> Uh, not many people know, so I think, uh, should, be, should be love. The metal hydride loves hydrogen, and hydrogen loves metal hydride, so separately they take more space, then they meet, they fall in love, and hey, let's live together. You know. It's so, a romance story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but 
it takes a bit, com a bit of convincing, right? They're kind of set up. You have to do some special things to the material. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. So you, yeah, you, you have to educate them to laugh together. Yes, you know, we get the metal hydride, we crush the metal into powder, and we do some cycling. Heat, pressure, heat, pressure. Love is violent. Yeah, yeah. You love hydrogen now? Yes, I do. Absorb it. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, wonderful. Um, and, and then after you can use hydrogen, of course, because, okay, hey, give me hydrogen. No, no, we are okay here. And then after a while, yeah, I give you the hydrogen. If you love something, let it go, but it comes back. You can refill it many times. Yeah, right? yeah, that's it, yeah. Is there any damage with recyc uh, recycling the, the hydrogen in and out? or? It's, yeah, again, analogy is the love. If it's pure love, there is no damage. If the hydrogen is polluted, after a while, it's, uh, no, I can't take it anymore, you know. I understand, yeah. Uh, get rehabilitation, you know. <laughs> okay, and so you, you can re rehabilitate the material. Yeah, yeah, we can recycle it, purify, and it then it works therapy. again. Yes. <laughs> Like, like old men, they go watch a movie about romance and then they work again, you know, it's just like me. So, uh, <laughs> does it have a, as long of a lifetime as you? Uh, well, we have a cycle time of maybe 4,000, but after you retreat it and then the material can be used forever. As long as... Forever and ever. Love lasts forever. Yeah, as long as there is civilization who wants to use it. <laughs> Okay, so when would you want metal hydride, and when would you want compressed? Wow, it's a good question. Uh, we should ask our customers, I don't know. <laughs> so what do, you, what do your customer, who buys this product? Uh, <laughs> they are afraid of the pressure, so they buy this one. Okay, okay. Well, it's scary, or...? Why? You know, it's pressure. People don't know it, so they are scared. Oh, it's 500 bar, it's scary, it's scary, I don't want it. So then we propose, oh, we have metal hydride. It's low pressure, it's a different technology, it's heavier, but no pressure. So they buy this one. There's uh, certain areas that have regulations for, for use, like in the home or something, isn't it? For, for pre the amount yeah, of pressure? Yeah, for example, or? it depends on the countries. I heard that in Japan, you can't store hydrogen in residential area uh, under pressure. So uh, if you want to use hydrogen storage, then this is the solution for them. Then uh, one of our customers, the Swiss Railway, uh, they they needed a cafeteria and energy and the battery didn't give enough energy. So they opted for a hydrogen storage and fuel cell, but they didn't want pressure in the train. So they used this technology. Okay, so it, in a train or, yeah. or other transportation, maybe? Yeah, you know, it's where, wherever they think it's too risky. But yeah, pressure is not risky. You just have, have to handle it. But the image of pressure is risky. Yeah. Okay, so you have other, so pressure, you might have other trade-offs like weight or, or, or price. How do they compare on price? Are they expensive? <laughs> <laughs> Both of them or the, the hydrides? Or? No, the metal hydride is very expensive. Okay. It's, you know, rare earths and very fancy stuff. So it's expensive. Uh, but, mm, yeah, this adventure is no, no pressure. And for applications where the weight is not an issue, for boats, for forklifts, for uh, stationary applications, very good. Okay. Um, so, what stage of uh, development are, are you in? You, these, you brought it here on stage. It's it's a product you're selling. Yeah, yeah. Not many, but we are selling. <laughs> well, we would like to to have more customers, obviously, but it's a startup. This is the smallest product we have. We have slightly bigger ones and uh, maybe ten times bigger. And they're standard products, or do you offer custom solutions as well? We have both, yeah. We have standard three standard products, and whatever the customer wants, so if you want something, we can do it, no problem. And, and uh, so your production facility is, is flexible then? Absolutely, yeah. It's a French facility, very flexible. <laughs> uh, what is, is it an automated facility, or? Um, no, it's very manual. <laughs> Fair enough, it makes you very flexible. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Um, so what, what other applications have you, have you seen? What, what, what application are you designing this larger product for? 
sorry, the, the big one is designed for uh, refueling stations and uh, hydrogen transport. So the idea is that you put hydrogen into this one at the production facility, then you transport in trailers, in racks, and then you, you just put down next to the station and you fill directly the tanks of the cars or you use a compressor for higher pressure, whatever you need. So the, 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 form, the shape of it is designed to fit easily on a transport truck or? Yeah, 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 just need a trailer and then we, we put in, in rocks. Okay, yeah. yeah, wonderful. Easy, easy, yeah. Um, what, are, what other applications have, have you seen with your products, demonstration projects, or <coughs> you have a, a vehicle over there? Oh uh, yeah, we have a, a special project with the French Post. Um, they use a lot of electric vehicles and then they want to do some experiments with hydrogen electric vehicles. So they have solar panels on their uh, warehouse. They produce their uh, electricity. Then they, with an electrolyzer, they make hydrogen. And with this hydrogen, they fill up these tanks, uh, metal hydrate tanks for postal delivery cars. So they can run 50, 60 kilometers, very popular among postmen. The car is just there, small yellow car, and it's in operation, so we had to ask the post to, to rent us one for one week. Not easy. So it, it's not brand new. You see some scratch and everything. It's everyday used for maybe two years now. They have 10 of these in France, two sides. Okay, have they, have they had any problems with it, or is it everything runs smoothly? Smooth, yeah, smooth. Very, very smooth. Very. Well, no, no, really, this is, technology is very reliable, so as long as you have pure hydrogen and sun, it, it works. Okay, so you're very flexible to, to different, different systems, but uh, you only do uh, components, the, the storage. Are you thinking about doing any, any system integration as well? Or? Yeah, we are thinking about it. And we have a prototype now. Uh, well, the, the idea is, you know, everywhere that you integrate uh, the solar panels and the house and the storage and everything into one box. So when you have sun, you use the electricity for the house. And if you have excess electricity, you store it in batteries or in hydrogen. And when you have no sun, then you use this uh, energy from the hydrogen. So we do the same in a small box, different sizes for houses or mountain hats or small businesses. Yeah. Okay. Um, at this time, I'd like to open up the floor for any questions, if there are any. Okay. Um, if not, uh, when do you hope to develop these systems? We I think we will be able to finish this year. Yeah, at the end of the year, we will have a few working prototypes. And uh, where will you install it? I don't know. Depends on the customers, wherever they buy it, you know. Okay. The, the, the prototype will be at our facility, so everyone can come to see it. And then the first customer who installs it somewhere, we will just install it. So if you need one, just give me your address and we ship it, no problem. Perfect. And, and where are you located? Uh, we are located in eastern France, in Dole. It's about 50 kilometers east of Dijon. Small city, very nice place. A lot of cows, good air, you know, nature. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And, and why, why did you locate there? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Is it close to the, the facilities where the technology was developed? Or? Well, uh, the, the founders were from the next city, from Besançon, from the university, and Dole has a big uh, chemical factory. And uh, there is hydrogen technology there, and the city is very supportive to the, to the development of new technologies based on some technology which is already in the city. So they supported uh, a startup based on hydrogen technology. Fair enough. And uh, the, the university uh, development that was done, what was, you mentioned the fibers that are wrapping around the, the tank. Oh, we use the best fibers in the world. It's carbon fibers, yeah. Very strong. Very strong. And, and was there a special competency is, uh, that was developed at the university or? No, we just round around, you know. <laughs> No, no, yeah, it's, it's uh, complicated. You need to, to do calculations, simulation, everything. Uh, 
the staff in our company mostly comes from the students of the founder professors, their PhD students or master students or engineering students. So they have all the skills to, to do the design and the production. Uh. Okay. Um, I'd like to ask you more, more generally. You said it was your first time here at the yeah. fair. Uh, what has surprised you this week interacting with people? Um, the really surprise is that you have all kinds of people. Uh, there are real professional people in the field to come to our stand. And after a few questions, they educate me how to do it better. Uh, OK. And then you have people who come who has no idea whatsoever. So they ask, oh, what is this? What is hydrogen? Uh, what is composite? And why do you need all this stuff? You know? <laughs> so it's an educational week. Yeah, it's very interesting because you have to switch from low level to high level, and uh, it's, it's yeah, it's interesting. And I had to uh, to get you here on stage. I had to interrupt you. You were making a, a sale or something over there. You have you had much attention this week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are very busy. Yeah, my throat is always dry. <laughs> I have to drink a lot. <laughs> well, well, that's also important. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's very good wine over there, so I appreciate that in the show. Yeah, it's good for the health. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, if there are any, uh, if there are not any other questions, then I'd like to to thank. I uh, thank okay. you for your time for coming on stage. Thank you for your stage. time. Yep. If you uh, would like to learn more about their technology, you can see their booth just right there. Look at the the yellow postcard, and uh, you can discuss further. Yeah. Anybody welcome, or you can come to France to see our factory. Good cheese, good wine, good air, everything. Yeah, who can, who can say no to that? And, and you can learn all about love, apparently. Sure. Okay. It's France, after all. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you very me. much. <laughs> thank you. So it's not announced in the program, but we do have a talk coming up just in a couple of minutes. It's going to be called Fuel Cell Products for Commercial Vehicles. From uh, the U.S. Fuel Cell Corporation, we have the President Abbas Gudarzi. Thank you.